Hello everybody, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well. I know you all are hungry, so I'll try to go as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, so my name is Abe Gondra. I'm a senior solution consultant with WellPay. Um, unfortunately, my counterpart isn't gonna, wasn't able to be here, so if I stumble a bit, please forgive me. I might start dancing or something. <laughs> um, so today I wanted to talk to you about the consumer payment journey. Um, a lot of folks all out there have apps, websites, um, one of the common themes that, that, that we see is a lot of them don't really take into consideration how thoughtful, uh, a lot, especially U.S. consumers are, about what they see within the website. So we want to just cover that, just to reiterate, make sure that, that uh, you all know some of the, the best practices when you're trying to establish those uh, apps and online e-commerce uh, pages. So just a, a quick... Um, um, overview of where we got this information. Uh, WellPay did a survey and report across 14 different countries. Uh, we surveyed dozens of different retailers, hundreds of, of online shoppers and uh, retail shoppers to gather this information just to see what, what they really thought about. Um, we did this across 14 countries, of course, but we really saw some of the anomalies here in the United States. So most of the, the tips and tricks I'm going to cover um, are Kind of focused on the United States, but I mean, you'll 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 see that that they really uh, they really do make a point across uh, all the different countries. So, a couple of different uh, stats uh, just to show um, why we kind of targeted this uh, uh, this kind of, of of survey uh, across uh, global ecom. Um, you'll you'll see an increasing amount of of uh, transactions being run through e-commerce. Uh, likewise, we've got uh, mobile activity increasing. Uh, we saw an increase of 39% since 2009, and we see uh, a trend flowing in the, in the fact that almost a quarter of the uh, commerce are, are gonna be processed through a mobile device. So that brings us to the buying journey. Um, the buying journey, of course, is driven by the, the consumer. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our consumers. Um, and they're high maintenance, I know, because I'm one of them. Um, we like seeing our, 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 that our information is going to be secure, safe, and we also like to be reassured along that payment journey. So that's really what, what we're here to talk about. So we've broken down the payment journey into these different kind of buckets. Uh, we've got the home page, shopping cart, so on and so forth. And really this buying journey is about enhancing that experience for your customers. Uh, really learning and, and making sure that uh, you provide them as much detail as possible um, to, to really get that comfort level. Um, not only to complete that sale, but you also want to make sure that you establish return customers. So first we'll start on the home page. Um, you'll see here that something as simple as a payment logo and can really uh, increase that comfort level for your, your merchant, uh, sorry, your consumers. Um, you can put it in the FAQ section, just somewhere that's easily accessible, um, where they know, okay, this, this uh, merchant does accept the payment that I'm comfortable with, and so I can move forward with my purchase. Next, security is, of course, essential in your website. Um, of course, you should have the, the standard um, secure HTTPS website, um, make sure that you provide all the, the digital certificate logos on your website so this way you increase that comfort level uh, with your consumers. Now, not everybody can have a, a well-known website or reputable brand right off the bat, but if you establish a, a clean and professional looking website and experience for your consumers, that really helps with, with driving that, that completion. So this is one of the, the kind of big things that stood out um, in the U.S. 49% of, of the people that we surveyed said they would drop out if the pricing was not displayed in U.S. dollars. Uh, so this is huge. If you're, if you're global and you're targeting U.S. consumers, you want to make sure that you, you um, have some way of uh, allowing them to interpret the pricing in U.S. dollars um, because of that, that dropout. And, um, and you'll see that it is significantly higher in the U.S. than anywhere else. Another element is the user profile. So U.S. Uh, consumers are super loyal. Um, 
over the 60% of the people that we surveyed were either have uh, an account with um, some kind of online retailer or had just established an account uh, within the, 12, the last 12 months. And so those people really do have that loyalty uh, behind them, but you also want to make sure that you reassure them. Uh, you'll see that half of the, the folks that we talked to um, did want to see how their data was going to be used. So make sure that you have that element within your, your e-com site or your mobile app so this way they understand that. Next, you want to pay, make sure to display the payment information consistently on your payment page. Uh, whatever you have on your FAQ or the rest of your website, make sure that's consistent whenever somebody's checking out. Um, some people will drop out. You'll see it's, it's a pretty high stat um, that folks will drop out if they don't see a consistency. 64% uh, of them uh, would have dropped out. Uh, along the same lines, make sure that the method of payment is, is, is consistent with the popularity uh, of your consumer. Also on the payment page, uh, we see a lot of uh, folks start, um, are continuing or, or starting to use uh, third-party redirects uh, for the payment page just because of one, uh, or the two, the two major ones I've encountered are, of course, liability and PCI scope. Um, while hosted payment pages are a, a great, um, great way to kind of mitigate that PCI scope, uh, or, or alleviate some of it, uh, you do have the concern about dropouts. So a high, le high number of people um, do feel uncomfortable with that whole uh, transition. So you want to make sure that you establish that comfort level um, with those folks and tell them, hey, you know what, we're going to redirect you, don't worry, it's going to go to this page, this is going to be your experience. So as long as you paint that picture for them, they really have a, a higher level uh, of comfort. And you'll see by the, the stats at the bottom that they, they really find that, that messaging important and would read that in messaging. Now, if you don't want to take the consumers away from that experience, there are other options to do this. Um, one of the options that we have is uh, to tokenization redirect. It allows you to embed JavaScript into your web page. It, it automatically pushes that information, the credit card information, to our gateway. And then we return a token to you. So it makes it a little bit easier. Um, a little more secure, as well as mitigating some of that, that PCI scope. Now, error handling is, is crucial, of course. Um, everybody here knows it's important to, to properly uh, handle errors. But always keep in mind the consumer experience whenever you're doing that. Uh, if you get back an error uh, from the, uh, or a decline, um, from the processor and saying, oh, hey, it's declined because this was an invalid card or it's expired. Um, make sure that you properly handle that and display that to the consumer so that they understand why they have to retry. A lot of folks, if they don't get a proper response or they don't like the response, they're going to drop out. Um, likewise, try to maintain as much of the information that you have on that page or, or on that app uh, so that they don't have to re-enter all that information. All right, so we're almost there. They clicked uh, checkout, and so now we're at the confirmation stage. Um, it's highly, highly important that you send out a confirmation at the end, uh, just establishing that they've made that payment. Uh, make sure that you include details about that, confirm about that, that purchase um, so that they feel comfortable with what they've, they've, just, they've just done, right? Um, some of the steps that you can do um, beyond just giving that confirmation is take a page out of Amazon's book. Um, they do the confirmation as soon as you purchase something. They do a confirmation again once they ship something. And then they do a, a third confirmation once you receive it. Right? So they're always keeping you informed of, of those stages. Um, so it depends on the resources you have, of course, whether you're able to do that. But um, at least be consistent with that, that confirmation. Uh, make sure that you put the right details in there. Um, and just, just do, uh, think about how you would feel a, as a consumer. How would you want to be treated? Um, even a simple little survey at the end, even if they didn't respond, they know that you have the, their interest in mind. And finally, that brings us to the support uh, system. Um, US shoppers, again, just like me, are super high maintenance. <laughs> um, but you'll see that most of the consumers are looking at the FAQ sec section for support. 
So it's re that's really a, a nice, simple, and, and cost-effective way of maintaining uh, a level of support for those consumers. So that's, that's element number one. Uh, make sure that you have that on your website or, or mobile app. And then after that, whatever uh, sort of support tool that you can um, support uh, within your organization, uh, just make sure that you are consistent and proactive in your messaging. Um, if you're consistent and, and you're responsive, uh, you shouldn't have too many problems, hopefully, uh, with your consumers. And then if you're proactive, that's even taking that, that additional step. Again, that survey, that quick little survey that you send out shows the consumer that you really have um, their, their comfort level in mind. And with that, uh, I'd like to thank you very much for your time. I hope some or all of this was helpful, uh, especially for you that are new to payments. Um, I know uh, some of this can be tricky, so I appreciate your time. Thank you very much.